and then the battery does not die as you might think, the battery capacity drops to 80% of the original capacity. So you can still be using it for a long, long, long time. The normal lifespan is around 10 years, more than 10 years actually. So it's a long-term investment. So uh, it's a good battery, right? But how do we deliver electricity from the battery to our devices? We have 17 outputs. Those are AC outputs, like our wall outlast right here. Those are also DC outputs, like for our computers, for, for our laptops, for our phones, uh, tablets, and other gadgets, right? And we also have two wireless charging pad on the top, pads on the top. We do have some car power sockets. We do have some cigarette lighters right here as we will see later. Um, you might ask, how do we recharge a standard P, right? So I already mentioned before we can recharge from solar panels. It's a good way, especially it's a good way when you're outdoors, might be the only way, right? But actually there are seven ways to recharge a standard P, such as number one is from a wall outlet, okay? From the wall outlet, like you're recharging everything from the wall outlet. Number two is from solar panels, from from our solar panels, from Ready, or from any other solar panels. As long as open voltage circuit is in the same range, you can do that from any solar panels. Number three, from a car power socket, from a cigarette lighter. Number four is from a generator. Maybe you have a gas generator, propane generator, or any other generator at, car at home. Technically, you can recharge ACRP from the generator. Another way is from lead battery, from, from lead acid battery. And you can even do dual AC, so you can recharge it from uh, two um, or two AC outputs, okay, if you purchase a second adapter. And you can also combine AC charging from the wall outlet and solar charging at the same time. So what is the maximum solar input? The maximum solar input for AC to hard P is 700 watts. And the maximum fast dual charging from solar plus AC adapter simultaneously is 1200 watts. You can say ACRP is very eco-friendly because you know it's gas-free. It's also very quiet and it's very cost-effective, as we'll find out later when we learn about the price. So, guys, let's take a look. First of all, the first criteria we look at is uh, the wattage. So you cannot exceed 2,000 watts. However, the surge is. 4,800 watts. So that means that when you hook up devices, you will experience a spike, okay? Uh, it can reach 4,800 watts and ASRP will be working perfectly. However, when the spike goes, uh, goes down, okay, you don't want to exceed 2,000 watts in general. So it's, it's not too little. It's, I would say it's more than enough to hook up many devices as we'll find out later when we'll test devices. We have some coffee machines, some air conditioners, some electric pans and ice machines right here, and some uh, hair dryers. We'll test it later, so stay tuned for it. You'll find out you can hook up many devices at the same time, both AC and DC, no problem. So why do I say it's cost effective? Because the market price is a dollar for a watt hour, so this one is 2,000 watt hour, right? And the price is 1,500. $99. You can say it's very cost effective. But right now, because we are going live right now, we are we are live right now, right? So the price is even lower. The price is only $1,499. You can save $100 if you enter the code LIVEAC 200p. And again, all you want to do is click the link in the comment section on YouTube or on Facebook, wherever you're watching us or click the link in the description on Facebook or on YouTube. So, and you can save $100 with the code LIVEAC to 100p. Okay guys, right now, as we know about general, general characteristics like uh, the wattage, the capacity, let's take a look at the outputs because it's pretty exciting. What do we have here? Like, is it even enough to hook up our devices? So what do we have here? Number one, I would love to start with those wireless charging pads on the top. So you probably noticed I put this one on the top of b 30 and not vice versa because I still want to use those two wireless charging pods here, okay? Those wireless charging pods are 15 watts, okay? So you can put your phone, for example, where's my phone? I can put my phone here on the top and I can enjoy wireless charging. Of course, I have to remember turning AC, uh, turning DC on because this is uh, DC charging. Direct charging. Okay. Now we have 
two wireless charging pads on the top. We also have this nice car power socket. It's a 12 volt and 10 amp car power socket right here. So you now have that device that you hook up here. Very important to have this output, and we do have it here. Okay, so this one is a 12 volt and 25 amp RV port. It's called RV port because, you know, it's, um, it's, it can be used in RV, it's very important. So we have many devices, many, many devices to this port. Okay, so we have this one, 12 volt and 25 amp. Uh, these ones are not very commonly used. This, uh, this one, uh, these ones are for some Wi-Fi orders, for some TV orders, for some um, radio and other devices like this. Not very commonly used. However, we have two of them right here: 12 volts and 3 amps. Okay, this one is 60 watt uh, USB Type C port or PD port. So you can, for example, I can use my MacBook charging port with this output. As you can see, and we're returning my MacBook at 60 watts. Okay, next one right here is a USB port. So we have USB that A port, 5 volts and 3 amps, 15, 15 watts. Okay, we have four of them, four exactly the same uh, 5 volt, 3 amp USB that A ports. Okay, so those are our DC outputs. Okay, we have two, two more. We are showing pads on the top, and those are all DC outputs. And we're moving on AC outputs. So we have six AC outputs right here. Those are just the same as our wall outlets. Six absolutely the same uh, wall outlets for AC outputs. Those are 100 to 120 volts and 2000 watts, okay? So this is the wattage and the voltage right here. And um, yeah, we can hook up maximum we can reach maximum 2000 watts if you exceed this number you will have an overload um but the surge is 4800 watts so you know when you hook up the device you will have a spike so the watch will go up well if it's for a short time right so you can reach 4800 watts no problem however normally when a spike goes down don't go up uh don't go don't go higher than 2000 watts and you'll be just all right Okay, guys, you probably notice this button right here. So, if I click this button, it powers on. It says power. So, this one powers on. And you can see this nice screen. This screen, you can click on it, you can change, you can, you can change some settings. It's pretty cool. So, let's do that. So, in the center, we have uh, the battery percentage right here. Okay, it shows 85%. So, you can see how much battery is left. So if I click on it, I can see a precise information about the battery. Specifically, I can see battery voltage is 53.4 volts, battery current is 0 0.1, 0 0.2 amps, battery SOC or state of charge, it's 85%, and BMS state, battery management system state, it's standby. Let's go back. Okay, so on the top, I have... Um, this one is PV slash car input. This one is adapter input. So when you're charging your AC to higher P, maybe from photovoltaic PV from solar panels, maybe from car, from a car power socket, maybe from an adapter from the wall outlet or from another power power station, or from an adapter from an AC source, you will see how many watts are coming in. You will see how fast you're charging it. Okay, maybe 100 watts, maybe 200 watts, maybe 700 watts. You will see it right here. So if I click on PV slash car, I will see input voltage, okay, input current, input power, generator energy, and I can even see carbon dioxide emissions or how many, or how much I contribute to saving the environment, so to say. Let's go back. This one is adapter. So if I click on adapter, what I can see is input voltage, input current, and input power. Again, you can see the voltage, the amperage, and the watts. Okay, this is the input when you're charging your AC to 100 p You can see how fast you're charging it. Okay, so maybe charging very slow, and you're wondering why. Well, this is because the input is very low, right? Maybe you're getting only like, I don't know. 
uh, 1 half watts as opposed to 7 half watts, which is the maximum uh, PV input, right? Or you might be getting as uh, the input as high as 1,200 watts if you're using dual charging AC and uh, PV uh, simultaneously. Okay, this one is the output. So when it's charged or when it, when it's uh, because you can actually charge it and discharge it at the same time. It doesn't matter. So how many watts are being drawn? You want to see that? So here's the uh, DC load and here's the AC load. If I click on DC load, I can see output voltage, output power. Okay. So this is like in general, in total, I would say. And these ones are specifically each and every part. For example, this 12 volt and 3 amp. 12 volt and 3 amp is this port, so I can see the um, power, the wattage for this port. I can see the wattage for this car power socket, 12 volt and 10 amp. I can see the wattage for this RV port, 12 volt and 25 amp. And I can see the wattage for USB ports and PD ports and wireless charging pads on the top. So you can see the total wattage here just to make sure it doesn't exceed the wattage allowed, but normally for DC outputs, it's impossible to exceed 2,000 watts. Um, and you can see how many watts are being drawn from every port right here. Okay, let's go back. So this was DC load. This one is AC load right here, okay? This one is probably more relevant because with AC port, you can go very, very high and you don't want to exceed 2,000 watts. So here we go, we have our voltage Okay, output current, we have our A, and output power, watts, and output frequency, hertz, okay? Depending on the country, it's going to be either 50 or 60 hertz. In Europe and America, it's different. And here we have, again, output voltage, output current, and output power. So, even from the main screen, from the home page, you can see the uh, wattage, which is probably the most important thing, because, again, you don't want to go too high. Okay, these buttons are very important because you want to turn your DC and AC on when you use them and you want to turn them off when you don't use them. Well, turning them on is crucial because without turning them on, you just cannot charge or run your devices, right? So, for example, I want to charge my MacBook right now uh, with this port, with this PD or port right here. So, I plug it in, I plug this side. To and my MacBook, okay, and it's not turning right now. It is not because I have to turn DC on. And right now, as it's on, let me check my MacBook. Yes, it is charging at 76% right now. So, and we have 20 watts right now being drawn from um, this port, okay? So, 60 watts maximum right now is 24, 25, 27, 28, goes up 29. Nice, 31 watts, okay, nice. All right, um, when I'm done charging my notebook, I want to turn DC off just to save the battery. There is really no other purpose other than to save the battery to prolong the time of usage of AC or P. Because with DC lo load on and with AC load on, we're discharging around 1% um, for an hour, okay, so you don't want to have this uh, happening. Maybe they'll forget to turn them off sometimes, so you have to remember to turn them off after you're done using them, okay? So, I'm playing the device, sometimes you have to also turn them off. Okay, if I want to use AC outputs right here, I will turn AC on, okay? And right now, I can use AC outputs, no problem. I can also use DC and AC at the same time. And look, right now we have 36%, or 36 watts for our PD uh, port. So my magnet right now is showing uh, at 35, 36 watts. Okay. Look, we have settings here. However, to make this set, to, to do some changes in settings, you want to turn DC off and AC off. And right now we can go to settings. And we can actually change them. So, number one, we have AC out voltage, okay? Either 100 volts or 120 volts. You can change it here. Number two, we have frequency 60 hertz or 50 hertz. Again, depends on the place. In America, it's usually 60 hertz, right? Or 50 hertz. Uh, in some places, it might be 50 hertz. 
So you know your frequency, please say it correctly, otherwise you will have an alarm. Um, DC input source. We have PV or car. So DC input source. If you're charging it from your photovoltaic PV from your solar panels, please set PV. If you're charging from a car power socket, please set car. Is it possible? Sure. Oh, uh, this side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So remember, to set um, this one correctly. Okay, to charge it effectively. Um, eco mode. What is eco mode? Think about it as an economy mode. Okay, so it helps you save the battery. Eco mode. We either turn on or turn off, and when it's yes, when it's on, it will cut off the AC load after four hours of inactivity or very low, uh, very low load under 20 watts. So it helps you save the battery because again, sometimes we just forget to turn it on, or turn it off, right? And um, if you forget to turn it off, the system will do it for you uh, if your eco mode is on. The DC load will not be affected because the DC load can, DC load can be very low, right? But um, AC load normally is quite high. So when it's, there is no load from AC or when the load is under 20 watts, the eco mode will turn off um, after four hours. Okay, let's go next. Here we have language settings between English and Japanese. Here we have battery settings on or off. So when you have an alert, maybe an overheat, overload, um, short circuit, do you wanna hear like a buzz? If yes, please keep it on. If no, please turn it off. So, just as a rule of thumb, I would recommend to keep it on for those guys who are not very familiar with portable power stations, okay, just in case. And for those guys who are advanced, you can, you can of course, turn it off or turn it on as you want. Okay, here we have those settings, so you have said it correctly, uh, the year, the month, and the day. And here we have the time settings, and we also have said it correctly. And why is it important to set it correctly? Because if you have an alarm, you want to know when it happened, right? So maybe you're asleep, and when you wake up, the power station stopped working or is malfunctioning, and you have no idea why. Um, and you can check your alarm history, as we'll find out how to do that. So here's the faults, okay? Here's the faults. And you can check what happened, and you will see the time when it happened. Okay. Let's go to data. Data. In the data part, we have, first of all, we have uh, product information. So we have the model, it's A300P. We have the DSP version, ARM version, BMS version, and HMI version. Right here. Let's go back. And you might ask why it's important. Well, it's usually important when you contact customer service. And if they ask you for this data, you know where it is. It's in the data part. Product info. Okay, next one is uh, inverter and charger info. So here we have PV and car charge, adapter charge, DC output, and AC output. When you click on it, you can see the precise information about each char DC charging, AC charging, adapter charging, DC output, and AC output. Okay, as you guys probably have noticed, this one is the same as the home page right here so the same information bms making bms stands for battery management system uh, battery voltage 53.3 volts battery current 0.2 amps and the soc state of charge 85 percent and bms state standby so this is the same information we could see from the home page if we click on battery insider okay next one is Fault history. Fault history. Those are the faults that ever happened to this portable power station AC 200P. So we can change that, or we can we can check them right here. Let's take a look. We have quite many because this one we're testing it in our laboratory, so we we have to push it hard. So we did overload it. We did overheat it. We did have a short circuit. Many other stuff. So here we have the time where it happened, like for example, 2020, second month, right, and uh, fifth day. So we can see the date, we can see the time, uh, it's 3.55 p.m. And we can see the fault code, this one for example is 31. So what do we do now? We can go back to 
false, we can go to 31. So this one is 31. It's overload. Okay, so overload. We had overload and we did have an alarm and the error code was 31. So we did have an overload. When you fix your um, alarms, when you, when you fix the problem, you can actually clean the alarms like this. Let me show it to you guys. So, be able to add uh, data here, code history, and you can clear it if you want, okay? Clear, clear fault history, yes. Okay, next. Also, when you check out the, um, the post right here, you can just go through this list, and if you see if this little dot is like the same color, like orange, if it's on, okay, it's turned on, it means this fault is, this is the current fault, it's still going on. So you can fix it like you can see what happened. Normally you would fix it yourself, like if you have an overload, basically what you want to do is unplug the devices and better reload the um, power station. Okay, if you have some more serious problems and you can't fix them yourself, you can always contact the customer service. All right, have more details about the screen. So what else do we have? We have the date here, we have the time here, and we also have system temperature. Okay, in Fahrenheit, so right now it's 84 degrees Fahrenheit, and Celsius, 29 degrees Celsius. So, this is all you have to know about the screen. Right now, let's talk about how big this power station is in terms of, like, dimensions. So, it's 16.5 inches uh, by 11 inches by 15.2 inches, and it weighs 60.6 pounds. So, you could say on the higher side, however, as I said before, it's still possible to carry on. Okay, guys, how's the sound? Is everything okay? Can you hear us clearly? Can you see us clearly? Can you hear us clearly? Please give us the feedback. Okay. If anything goes wrong, let us know in the comments. We appreciate that. Okay. So, guys, right now, let's talk about how to recharge our AC to 100P. How to recharge it. Because there are seven ways to recharge it. Number one, from AC adapter. Okay. And the maximum input you will get is... 400 watts, 400 watts. It will take you for, from five and a half to six hours to recharge your AC RP through AC adapter. Option number one is solar. The maximum input is 700 watts. It will take you three and a half to four hours to recharge AC RP from solar panels. Option number three is a car cigarette lighter. So, depending on the voltage, either 12 volts or 24 volts, um, and the wattage will be corresponding, either 100 or 200 watts, will take you 10 or 20 hours to recharge ASRP from your car uh, cigarette lighter. And by the way, we do have a cigarette lighter port um, in the box. Okay, number three, AC adapter and solar cable or AC adapter and solar at the same time. So you're turning it, how does it work? Well, you connect the solar panels, okay? So you, you do solar panel or solar charting, and you also do uh, AC charting or wall charting at the same time. Yes, you can do that, no problem. And the wattage is normally 1,100 up to 1,200 watts combined. So if, you, if it's very sunny, okay, and you place the so panels at the right angle, and the temperature is not too high, not too low. The, the best temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So you will get 1,100, 1,200 watts. However, don't get surprised if the wattage is not as high, because again, sometimes you think, oh, it's perfect solar conditions, and it just might not be perfect. Okay, so um, it will take you from 2 to 2.8 hours to recharge your ASRP from solar panels. Uh, from solar panels and AC at the same time. Okay, and last option, I would say the last most commonly used option because we have more, is dual AC, using two AC adapters, um, okay, two wall outlet adapters. And in this case, you can just double the wattage. So, as we said before, 400 watts is the maximum for AC. However, if you use Two adapters is going to be uh, 800 watts. It's going to take you only from three and a half to three hours to recharge your AC 100P. There are also other options like lead acid battery and like gas generators, propane generators. So those are not as commonly used, right? 
but again, it's still an option. Okay, this is the information about how to recharge ASRP to always keep it on or just to, you know, when you discharge it to bring it back to life. It's also important to mention that ASRP has a pass through charging technology, so you can both, uh, you can charge it and discharge it at the same time, which is pretty cool because think about it, you can charge it from solar panels, okay? So green energy, solar energy, free energy, and you can discharge it at the same time, so you can run your air conditioners, you can run your coffee machines, whatever you're doing, and basically you don't pay any of this for electricity because solar powering is free, and uh, uh, then you can charge and charge at the same time. Okay, guys, what is in the box? When you receive your ACRP, what do you have in the box? Let's take a look. Number one, we have AC adapter and AC cable, okay? So we have AC adapter, it's quite bulky, it's quite big, let me show it to you guys. So here is the AC adapter, okay, oof. And it comes with the AC cable, right here. So you can just plug it in the wall outlet, okay? Or in another port of station as you want. And you're ready to go, you're good to go. So, okay, right, so this is the uh, AC adapter and AC cable. Also, we have uh, MC4 solar charging cable, MC4 to XT90 is also in the box for your solar panels. Okay, we have this cable. We also have a car charging cable, car to XT90 to recharge it from your car cigarette lighter. So one side you plug it in your uh, ASRP, the other side you plug it in your, in your in car cigarette lighter in your car, okay? One more cable is this aviation cable I have right here. It's XC90 to aviation plug input, okay? And we normally use it to extend it with the batteries. We also have a user manual, of course, and a warranty card and a certificate of quality pass. This is what you have in the box. You don't have to purchase those accessories. They, they are all in the box. You might want to purchase something else if you want to enjoy dual AC charging. You might want to purchase second AC adapter. It's not necessary. Again, if you're okay with one adapter, it's fine. If you want to double the wattage from 400 watts to 800 watts and do dual AC charging, you can indeed purchase a second AC adapter uh, separately on our website, jadipower.com. Okay. You can also purchase lead, uh, some, some accessories from, from lead, for lead acid batteries if you have lead acid batteries home and you want to charge from lead acid batteries because it's an option. And this is pretty much it. Okay, next, what do we have, guys? Let's take a look. And by the way, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. We have Blood Official here who will respond to your questions, uh, to your suggestions, and just to your comments. Okay, right now it's a very exciting time. It's time to test our ASRP, okay? So we'll actually plug some devices in and see how it goes. We'll plug both AC and DC devices at the same time and see how it works. So we prepared some data for you. Let's say you run a refrigerator, which is 150 watts. So how long you can run your fridge? 150 watts. Any ideas? Well, actually, it's from 15 to 28 hours. Why the uh, time gap is uh, so, so big? Because it depends on manufacturers. Well, it depends on the temperature, right? The ambient temperature. If it's colder, of course, the fridge doesn't have to work as hard. If it's uh, warmer, the fridge will work uh, more. Plus, you guys know how fridges work. They turn on and off, turn on and off. They don't just, they're not on all the time. So the past many factors, but normally you would think about 15 to 28 hours. You can run your fridge for 15 to 28 hours from um, your ASRP if your fridge is 150 watts. Okay, what if you want to run a blender, okay, which is 1,000 watts? So if you run a blender, you can run it from ASRP for one and a half to two hours, okay? What if you run your microwave, microwave at 800 watts? So if you do run your microwave at 800 watts, you can run it for two plus hours. Okay, one more device, a hair dryer, 1,500 watt hair dryer. How long can you run it? You run it for one plus hour, okay, from 
AC to 100P and HRP is 2000 watt hour and 2000 watts. Easy to remember. And right now, let us load some devices. Okay, we brought mostly AC devices because only A thrust will push the wattage all the way up. Okay, which we will try not to go too high, not to have an overload. Let's just try and see how it goes. So, number one, we want to turn our AC inverter on. Okay, right here. AC on. And right now we're ready to go. We can plug AC devices in this nice wall out pass right here. 100, 220 volts and 2000 watts. So number one, I would love to plug in this sandwich maker. Okay, the sandwich maker right here. I'm plugging it in. And let's make some sandwiches. Okay, goes right in. Okay, and I will set it to 10 minutes right here. Okay, nice. Let's check out the wattage, the load for AC. It's 612 watts, 611 watts right now. Okay, we don't stop here. We plug in more devices, such as, for example, we want to plug in this fan or this hair dryer. Oh, how about our giveaways? We have a kind of a giveaway right now. Wow. So exciting! What is the first giveaway for the day? Guys, are you ready for the giveaways? Are you ready? Okay, this is the hair dryer. Let's turn on after a giveaway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we are so busy talking about HRP, we almost forgot talking about giveaways. But I know the giveaways are exciting, and I'm very happy to be good news better. And right now, guys, we're ready to announce the giveaways. So by the way, what are our giveaways? So we're giving away this nice lady t-shirt, as you can see on me. Well, specifically, the design is a little bit different, okay? In particular here, uh, and for, uh, on the front, we have um, just power arms and ready, okay? And on the back side, we have ready logo right here. It's a nice 100% cotton t-shirt. T-shirt. It is our giveaway. Oh, <laughs> we also give away a cap from Brady. Let me show it to you guys. Yeah. This cap from Brady. Okay, it's also our giveaway. All right. Okay. Cool. And we give away a K2 power bank. K2 power bank. So let's see who's our winner. Again, as we mentioned previously, to be our to, to take part in our giveaways. All you want to do is to be active in the comments, okay? Be active in the comments, ask and answer questions, be helpful for the community, uh, or just, you know, just be there. <laughs> and uh, this is how Blatty uh, officially will choose you for the giveaway, okay? Finally, I can see your comments before. Until now, I couldn't see your comments, actually, because I couldn't log in for some reason, but okay, there you go guys, right now I can check out the comments and I can see what's going on and I can see your questions too right now, okay? Don't forget to give this session a like, it helps ton, okay? And let's see who is our first winner. Okay, we have Charles for our mate, very old friend of ours. We have Pete, uh, Pete, uh, okay, very difficult surname, can't pronounce. Adwin, so that a good giveaway, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be a good giveaway. Okay. Yes, yeah, we will have PS7 as a giveaway. Seriously, oh my god, guys, I heard it just happened. PS70 behind me, we give it away. We got a dual giveaway on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, yeah, we have double check there. I was surprised. Cameron Sauer, hi, good to hear from you. Same t shirt, t shirt. So, what is your first grade? Is a t shirt. Let's see who is our winner, guys. Just type t shirt right now and We'll wait for that official to choose a winner. Okay, t-shirt, t-shirt, t-shirt. Let's go for it. So our first giveaway is going to be for YouTube because we go live on YouTube and on Facebook simultaneously. So first giveaway is going to be for YouTube. Let's go. Please have t-shirt right now. The first giveaway is the t-shirt. Okay, let's see who is the winner. T-shirt, 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 T-shirt. Let's go for it. Okay. So, T-shirt, right. So, we have our first winner, okay? Brady Official has already chosen our first winner. I'm very, very happy to announce our first winner from YouTube. Who gets our T-shirt? 100% Brady, just for on T-shirt. Very pleasant touch. 
very skin friendly, very cool, classic t-shirt. The winner's name is Misty Mind uh, Misty Misty's Minderings. Uh, Misty's Minderings. Let me spell it. It's Misty's and that is Minderings. Okay. Okay, I see you here. Are you here? Are you here? Can you can you hear us? Can you see us? Okay, please tell us that you are here and the giveaway goes to you. And as we said in the beginning of the live stream, that our giveaways are only for America. You have to have an address in uh, the United States so we can ship it to you there. And right now, as we congratulate Mrs. Minderings, we remind you to kindly contact, send, send an email um, to the address Helena at Blair.com. It's H E L E N A at Blair.com. H E L E N A at Blair.com. Please send an email there within uh, 48 hours. This is for your shipment because we have to know your address, where to ship it to, right? Congratulations one more time. Thanks for many things. Okay, this is your first, but this is not your last year, I guess. So just stay tuned for. Uh, now this year race in today's live stream, we still have a bloody cabbage, which I am absolutely a fan of, okay? We also have a cage of bank, and maybe, maybe we have a PS70. We are clarifying it right now, okay? So let's see who our next winners are. Guys, don't forget to give this lecture a like. It's very important. So, sorry, don't forget to give this lecture a like. Very important. Don't forget to share with your friends. And most importantly, don't forget to purchase during the live stream if you want to purchase anything. If not, just take it easy, guys. Uh, no rush, no pressure. But if you see for yourself it's a good deal, please purchase during the live stream because you will save up to 120 and you will see how many, uh, how much you can save with our special promo codes that are valid only during the live stream. Okay, let's check our area strategy right now in terms of how it's doing with the wattage with the load right now. So it's, oh, what happened? It's, it's off? Oh my God, interesting. So it's almost off at zero. Anyway, let's plug in more devices. Let me stop it. Let me turn it on again. What do we have? Okay. Interesting. Yes, it's on. Okay. All right. Okay, let's uh, plug in more devices anyway. This is the hair dryer. Let's see how much we can draw. 1,313 watts right now. Okay. Let's plug more devices in. Like, for example, we have this air conditioner. Okay. Air conditioner right here. All right. So let me plug it in. However, for air conditioner, especially if it's on the like cold mode, right? If you use it um, with cold air, it's not going to be very much uh, load from our experience. What we found out, maybe it's just our conditioner, our air conditioner. Okay, let's plug this one in and let's turn it on right now. Right now it's 24 degrees Celsius. So. It's on. Oh, you can see all the 59, 60 watts right now. Super low. I want to turn this uh, hair dryer on at the same time to see how what what, what uh, low we can pull. So let's go. And the hair dryer, just for the record, the hair dryer is hot mode, so it's like hot, hot air. 1,382 watts, and let's plug my magnet in. Turn the C on. Okay, sign up. 11. And let me put my phone on the top for a while starting. Starting at 42% right now. Okay, so we have. It's climbing out still, right? Very nice. Let's try more. Oh, 
okay? Like there's this odd, uh, oven right now, and it has a very short, very short cable. So we're gonna search on to plug it in. Okay. Let's just see how much we can fit. I'm quite worried about it, so I will turn off the, the hairdryer first. I'm also worried that you will be disturbed by the sound of the hairdryer. And let me turn uh, this oven on right now. So, where's the time? Uh, okay, right here. So, what do we have? 1,348 watts in total. I think if we turn the hairdryer on right now, it might be, it might be too much. So we have uh, 47 watts right now from DC load, from, so it's from, this, from my phone and from the laptop, and we have 1,337 watts. I will just try to turn the hairdryer on if it exceeds 2,000 watts and it stays like this for just a second. I will just turn it off. Let's see. Yeah, okay, clearly it's too much. Yeah, because the uh, hairdryer. Now well, let's try the hairdryer with the cold air right now. So let's see. Oh, you guys see how, how different it is? So with hot air. Uh, it would be 2,500, and it goes even higher, but if I press this button, which is like for cold air, okay, the load is much lower, 1,500 only, and once I release this button, it goes all the way up, now we have an alarm, this is how you see that you have an overload, in this case, you would just want to turn it off, Okay, and we started, and we were just fine. Nothing, uh, nothing bad happened. Okay, it's showing you that. Oops, you might push it too hard, so we just turn on and off again, and you're good to go. So AC on, everything's okay, and DC on, of course, because we're all sharing a phone right now from this wild sharing pad, and this wild sharing pads are DC. So, turn it on. Okay, guys, so this is how we use our AC200P. And as I'm using it, you see, guys, it's destroying right now. Oh, let's change, let's check the battery percentage right now. Oh, it's called SOC, so I've charged 77%. Okay, so you might be worried that your battery will be discharged after some time, right? It's kind of common sense. So in this case, you can actually hook up an expansion battery, okay? This one is a B930 expansion battery, and this one is a B300 expansion battery, so you can you can use um, whatever you want, this one or that one. You cannot use two of them at the same time, okay? Um, but you can use you can use one of them, whichever you want, okay? Uh, after we learn more about the expansion batteries, we will try to hook them up to a certain feet together and see what's happening. Okay. All right. Cool. So I think the test was successful. We're going to plug it in so many devices. We literally occupied uh, four of uh, this six AC outputs, and with the with the hairdryer on on a hot on a hot mode, we got an uh, we put it too hot. Okay. My Charlie Farmer says, my next door neighbor's name is Helena, Helena also. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a coincidence. Yeah. Smash the button, guys. Yes, guys, please smash that like button. Mm, okay, so we have an important announcement right now. So, for a p and a Max series, we have two plus two year free warranty that are only available for customers who purchase on the official website, bloodypower.com. Customers who have purchased on other platforms have to email vip at bloodypower.com, vip at bloodypower.com, if you want an extension for two more years, okay? So guys, if you have purchased our ASRP or ASRP Max from bloodypower.com, our official website, you have a two plus two year warranty. 
And those guys who have purchased all the platforms, which is fine, maybe on Amazon, maybe on any other platform, please email us at vip at vladipower.com if you want to extend the warranty for two more years. So you have two plus two warranty four years in total. And right now on YouTube, I can see um, a pinned message by Bladi official and it shows the price. It shows the price for AC 200P only 1,599. And if I'm not mistaken, we also have a discount code for it, right? So the discount code is only 1,499. You're saving $100. The code is live AC 200P. So what I want to do is to click on that Pend message, okay, it will lead you to our website, bladderpower.com, and you can see, oh, right now, actually, it is 1,399. Can you believe that? I just check it right now, it's 1,399. Really? Yeah, 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 wow. What a, what a, what a good news we have. Wow, okay. What a good evening. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah, 1,000. 399 right now and as I'm right now proceeding with my purchase I can also see we have uh, five more five percent off for hospital employees for 70 plus uh, people for medical providers and military uh, so we have five percent off um, additionally and we have 30 day satisfaction guarantee with money back uh, we have over three, 30, uh, 30,000 successful shipped orders, and we have U.S.-based company. If you guys were wondering, we are based at um, uh, Las Vegas. Uh, we have an exact address right there, so if you want to visit, visit our company, our office, you, can, um, you are more than welcome. And I remember that some of you guys actually live very close. It was very, it was very, very funny to hear that. that some people say, oh, I live just uh, two miles from your office. Wow, what a coincidence. Okay, cool. Oh, Texas Blind Jack. So if I bought mine from Bloody directly, then I don't need to do anything. I already have four years. Yes, exactly. You are right. Texas Blind Jack. If you purchase from BloodyPower.com, from our official website from Bloody. Yes, you don't need to do anything. If you have purchased from other websites, maybe from Amazon, maybe from any other platforms, if you want to extend the warranty for two more years, you can email us at vip at bloodypower.com. Thank you. Okay, guys. So our next scary, as we can see, is coming very, very soon. You can see this countdown right here. It's only like 40 minutes, uh, four, four, four minutes, 40 seconds. So you can see um, the time is going very fast and our next video is coming soon okay so right now our asrp is still uh working it's still loading all those devices okay what is the word right now right now it's, it's zero because those guys actually turn off right now it's sandwich maker right now it's done sandwich is done uh and we can all right now it's back to 1257 so it has to do with um the working mode of those appliances so those supplies don't where every the time they, they turn off, they turn on, they turn on, they turn on, just like refrigerators do, right? So that's why sometimes you see low zero, and then it goes back to the uh, 1,200 or something like that. Okay. I need one another beat 130, but I need a beat when ask first. Try and save up before campaign ends. Oh, right. You're right, Sharp R. Maybe our campaign ends in like in no time, right? We have an integrated campaign for AC500 and B300S expansion battery. And our campaign ends soon. So if you want to get um, our A500, our B300S, or PV400 solar panel, please get it before the campaign ends, because right now we still have an early bird price, and after the campaign ends, we have no more early bird price, the price will bounce back to normal. Okay, guys, right now, let's try to expand uh, our B300P and uh, B230 expansion battery. But let's first learn something about B230 expansion battery. And by the way, guys, if you purchase AC 200P right now, you will get uh, cables that help you expand it with B230 expansion battery for free. Okay, you can see when you proceed uh, with the purchase on the website, you can see that you will get a cable, actually two, uh, two cables for free. Okay, B230 expansion battery. 
So it's right here. Okay, so can we have a look on the 30 right now? I can unplug all those devices. Okay, the task was successful. I would say camera, camera, camera. Yep. Uh, okay. Cool. Let me put this microwave back. It might be hot. Okay. So let me just do that. Okay, guys, so here is the battery that I'm talking about. It's a B930 expansion battery. Well, this battery can actually be used on its own, but it's most commonly used as an expansion battery for B900, uh, for uh, a B, for a Max, or for a So the capacity of this battery is 2048 watt hour. So if you look at this battery, you can see it's like twice smaller than a P. However, the capacity is the same. Technically, it's even higher, uh, 48 watts per hour higher than this one. So you can see that this battery is uh, has a very high capacity, 2048 watt hour. The voltage is 51.2 volts, and the uh, is 40 amp hour. The battery type is the same, like here, it's lithium iron phosphate, live PO4, okay, it has uh, 3,500 plus life cycles before the battery drops to 80% of the original capacity. It has built in management system, and the controller, uh, and, and others. So, the price for this battery is $1,299 right now, and it's already the best price. However, we recommend you guys get a bundle of um, BDR30 and A300P together because, yes, you can extend them and you have a higher capacity. Okay, the capacities basically add up. So you have 4,048 watt hour of capacity. Let me have some water. So, why did I say that BDR30 can, can be used on its own? Because it actually has some outputs right here. We have a carpet socket, we have a USB Type-C port, and a USB Type-A port, okay? So, uh, USB Type-C port is 100 watts right here, USB Type-A port is 18 watts, and carpet socket is 12 volts and 10 amps. Okay, nice. So, um, how do we recharge B230 expansion battery, okay? So, it's very similar to how we recharge a p because the batteries are the same, basically, okay? Uh, lithium iron phosphate, lithium iron phosphate, 3,500 plus life cycles, same here. The capacity is slightly different. Here's 2,000 watt hour, here's 2,048 watt hour, so technically even higher capacity. So you can recharge it with the same methods from the wall outlet, from solar panels, uh, from lead acid battery, from car power socket. Uh, you can do dual charging, of AC and solar at the same time, and you can even do dual AC charting from the wall outlet, okay? All right, cool. So right now, guys, let's try to expand B930 and uh, AC and RNP. So to do this, we need two cables, okay? Number one is this cable, aviation plug to X90, to, to X, uh, to okay? So this one goes in. We have this little red dot here, and we want to plug it, we, we see one more red dot here on this uh, input. Okay, it's, we plug it in. We hear a click. Okay, we hear a click. And right now we plug, we connect one more cable. So, this cable, and by the way, if you purchase a Standard p right now, or a bundle of a Standard p and uh, B B two hundred thirty or A three hundred P and B three hundred, you will get these cables for free. So this cable we connected right here. Okay. Then this is not it. We have to lock it. We have to push forward to lock it. Connected right now. Then we turn. It's already. Otherwise we turn on. Okay. Not not distract you. It has nothing to do with this item. Um. Then we have to go to settings. And set this one to PV. PC input source PV. Why PV? Because we use this this aviation plug to act to 90. It uses uh, PV input. Okay, so it's PV 35 to 150 volts and 12 amps max. So this is the open voltage circuit 35 to 150 volts. Important. Right. 
uh, and then we long press the button of B230. We long press it quite long, okay? The button is, uh, the light is on, but it's not enough right now when it starts like turning on and off, on and off. We can release the button and we can see if we connected it or not. Okay, let's take a look here. Take a look guys, we have the input of 585 watts right now. So this is correctly, this is correct. We have connected it correct, uh, correctly. Everything is okay. All right. Um, over a question right now from Sharfar Maid. Um, okay, all right. So yeah, you sent an email, you, ha you didn't have a response. It's our bad, I'm sorry to hear that. That official, make sure you respond to Sharfar Maid. Please, okay. Uh, our customer service and uh, other parts of, might be busy sometimes, so it's we 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 not mean to we don't mean to ignore you or something anything. Just uh, sometimes, um, you know, it's our bad anyway. I'm sorry to hear that. Sure for maid, but official, please make sure you get back to sure for maid uh, with an extended warranty. Okay. All right, do you have a thermometer on the unit to see how it's going under load? Uh, look, we have it right here on the screen. So on the screen, you can see the wattage. So right now you can see the input. Right now we have 579 watts coming from this uh, expansion battery. When we're using devices, you can see the wattage, right, the load right here. Okay, so you will see the precise number, like 1,277 watts, for example, right? So you will see that you will, this is how you don't go higher than 2000 watts you will see it right here okay guys right now we talking about the input methods so number one is ac adapter input 500 watts this is how to recharge our b230 expansion battery so number one is ac adapter and it's going to be 500 watts maximum number two is solar input okay 500 watts to under the open voltage circuit um that is uh, from 12 to 60 volts DC, okay? This is the uh, uh, requirements for the input, okay? And um, if you're carrying it from a car, power socket, it can be either 12 or 24 volts, but you have to do this with uh, DO5OS, which is a DC charging enhancer, okay? Um, another method is from a lead acid battery, 12 or 24 volts, okay? Both fine. And the maximum input is 500 watts. Again, you have to have a DC charging hazard, or DO50S. Okay, again, guys, the price for B230 is only $1,299. Right now, it's a very favorable price. You can get it separately, or you can get a p and B230 together as a bottle, which we highly recommend. Okay, right. So, all right, guys. Um, right now, as extended, we could load more devices. However, I think it's not really necessary because, you know, the wattage does not go up. So the wattage is still 2,000 watts and the surge is 4,800 watts. So the load does not change. The only thing that changes is the capacity because right now we are, we are technically charging our AAC to RP and, and we're using and we're turning at the same time and it will not hurt the battery, okay, to anticipate your, your um, um, your questions, it will not hurt the battery, it's totally fine, don't worry about it. If it could hurt the battery, it wouldn't give you the warranty for four years, right? Oh, and right now, guys, we have a giveaway! Yes, giveaway for Facebook this time, because we go live on Facebook and on YouTube simultaneously, so this round is for Facebook. So we give away a cap right now. Let's see who is the lucky winner, the owner of this cap right now, guys. What I want to do right now is to type cap on Facebook. Type cap, 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 and let official chooses the most active in the comments right now. And the most active one will get this cap. So please type cap, cap, cap in the comments. Let's see who gets it. Cap, cap, cap. Let me have a sip of my coffee right now. And uh, let's keep going. I'm very excited about our Facebook winners. Please type cap in the comments. It's not our last giveaway, by the way. Okay, feels better now. Okay, guys, so we have a big crowd on Facebook right now. Yes, okay, nice, 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 nice. Keep typing uh, cap in the comments. All right, hello, everybody, I'm back. Hello, Jason, good to hear from you. Okay, all right, guys. Again, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. 
questions, suggestions, feedback is very, very much appreciated. Thank you, guys. Okay, all right, Cap, 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 Adwin, Adwin, this giveaway, this round is for Facebook. Okay, so we will not be choosing winners from YouTube, Adwin. This time is from Facebook. All right, all right. So Facebook winner for the Cap is. Grigori Wajburn, Grigori Wajburn, congratulations, Mr. Yeah. Grigori Wajburn, everybody, yay, there you go, there you go, our first Facebook winner, you got our cow, congratulations, are you here, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your names, guys, again, clearly, I don't know you, so, again, excuse me if I mispronounce your names, Grigori Wajburn from Facebook, Woohoo! Okay, please kindly contact uh, Helena at bloody.com. It's H E L E N A at bloody.com within 48 hours. It's for the shipment. Thank you, Grigori Westburn. Okay, and again, as we said before, we can only ship to the United States, so you have to have a shipping address in the US. Okay, it has to do with logistics. All right, cool. Very good to. Be the good news bearer, as always. And our next giveaway is uh, K to Power Bank, okay? K to Power Bank. I saw it once. It was enough. It's very, very eye-catching. It's a big one. You couldn't put it in your pocket. You could not. But you could put it in your backpack to recharge your laptops, your phones, your tablet PC, and uh, other gadgets. Just fantastic. Okay, nice. So guys, let's keep going. Let's keep going. What is in the box of B230 if you're wondering? So B230 extension battery has this uh, capacity fusion cable P090A. However, this cable cannot be used with um, B ACNR B. It can be used with ACNR Max. Okay, so if you plan to use it with ACNR Max. You have a cable there, okay? You also have a certificate of QC, uh, QC quality pass, okay? You have a user manual and you have a warranty for two plus two years. So I just said like 20 seconds ago, you cannot use this cable with a certain piece. So what's the use, right? Guys, if you purchase right now, you can get two of these cables for free, okay? Those cables cost like 129 dollars if not mistaken on the website but right now we uh, we give them for free for uh, those guys who purchase during the live stream one more time guys let me give this uh quick pause to remind you that support like your likes and sharing with your friends is just so important for us so please guys share with your friends give us your likes and uh comment Give us any suggestions, help us to get better, okay? And ask and answer questions is very much appreciated. So, we're using a and p and we're doing 30 right now. So, it's a bundle, right? So, we prepared a special price for the bundle too, okay? So, for a and p uh, and for B230, guys, we can get them together and get a special price. And again, if you get a certain P or a certain P and B930 or a certain P and B300, you will get this cable, these cables for free. So for a certain P and for B230, the price is only $2,698 right now, guys. The price is this low, but we don't guarantee it will be that low, okay? So please use the chance right now to get it at the best price possible. B230 works with ASR Max, but doesn't uh, does B230 work with it? Yes, it does. Um, I like it. I like it very much. I'm very glad to hear that, Jason. Um, oh well, my cap is gone again. <laughs> yes, it. Yes, it is gone. Okay, <laughs> better luck next time. Um, the the thing is that uh, we we don't sell our merch. I actually talked about this with my colleagues. I said we should probably sell our merch. Why don't we sell that? But they say no, Tim. It's not for sale. We can only give it away. So it's just the principle of the company. Okay, I can't argue with that. So, <laughs> right, so we give it away. So it makes it even more valuable because you can literally not buy it. All right. So, what do we need to know about B300 as an expansion battery right here? So, again, guys, let me remind you the price for A300P and for B230 expansion battery. If you purchase it together, the price is only $2,698 right now, okay? 
and you also get these cables for free. Actually, let me be clear on that. Do you, do you have like, do you get these cables or one cable for free? Uh, you will see that when you proceed with your purchase, right? Uh, when you proceed with your purchase. So I proceed with my purchase right now, and I can see that. You can actually show the screen. Everybody, how you? Uh, I just, I just don't think you guys will see that. So. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a good idea. I like this idea of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, first of all, to be honest, I just click on this pinned message right here, okay? So, I click here. There is the link here. I'm on YouTube right now, by the way. So, I click here. Yeah. I click here. I wait. <laughs> and I see the original price right here $3,098. And this card price $2,000. Six hundred ninety-eight dollars for a bottle right now. So I just go down and I click buy it now. I could also click add it to cart, but I buy it now. And I, I proceed right now at checkout, so I can see the price. The price was Texas from my region, and um, yeah. So this is basically what I can see. So um, it does not say about the cables. Maybe the policy has changed. I remember when we were preparing for the last one yesterday, uh, it was still with cable. So right now, the price, maybe the price is lower right now. This is because we don't give the cables anymore. As I can see right in here, is that is that so? Okay, let me try with AC to 100 feet. And actually, guys, you can also uh, search anything you want on our website like this. So for example, AC to 100, <laughs> let me switch to English, AC to 100 okay so all right and you see it all here so if you want to purchase a sonography separately for example so this one is right here you can click okay oh wow you can actually see pretty clearly right all right so the price is as you guys can see 1399 so even like before yesterday the day before yesterday was higher it was 1400 i think we lowered it uh just so you guys can buy it right now and don't wait for the perfect uh, for the perfect moment because it's literally right now. And yeah, but uh, we don't we no longer give those cables for free, which is pretty much the same because those cables cost one hundred twenty nine dollars. Right now we lower the price so that you guys can afford it, and you can also get those cables if you want to get uh, an expansion battery. Okay, all right, cool. So this is how you purchase on uh, our website, and again you can just click the uh, the link um, on YouTube uh, so you don't look for it yourself you can just click on the link on youtube and this is how you get it okay i show my volume down i love trying to make it sound better oh um how the sound right now guys can you hear us okay all right you might you might audio uh, aesthetic maybe my is dying let me check the battery uh the battery is still on uh it's on can you hear us here is better right now Thank you for the feedback, by the way. We appreciate that. Um, um, okay. Yeah, I don't know. So, let's try. Okay, all right, guys. So, right now, let's switch to B300 expansion battery. So, as you guys can see, B300 is bigger. Okay, so what does it have to offer? Right now, as we have B300 and B300S, that are very similar, we have to be careful. So this one is B300, correct. Okay, very nice. So right now let's turn this off. And again, one more time, it's 573 watts right now coming from PV. And uh, this is actually not, this is PV because we're using PV port, okay. PV stands for, PV stands for photovoltaic, but right now we're just using PV port. So right now we have, um, uh, how, how much? 572 watts. Okay, let's turn it off right now, guys. We can turn it off right now, like this. Just by pressing the button. First, turn this one off, and then turn this one off. Okay, cool. Let's switch to let's let's switch to B300 expansion battery right here. Okay, because I'm just worried we will not have enough time. Okay, turn it off right now. All right, cool. So this is the B300 expansion battery. So what do you need to know about it? 
As you guys can see, the capacity uh, is much higher. So this one is 2048 watt hour, and this one is 3000. 72 watt hour. So how is the sound right now when you turn down the levels is getting clipped? Um, how is the sound right now guys? I have no idea. I can't hear myself obviously. Yeah. So that is what it looks now about. Uh -huh. Let me try to speak maybe uh, in a lower voice. I don't know. So um, hopefully guys you can hear us better. All right. So this one is a 3072 watt hour expansion battery it's called a b300 what do you have to know about it first of all it does to have a 240 volt split phase body yes it does it is expandable with ac 300 with ac 300 originally but it can also use it with uh ac 200 collection like s max and s 200 does it have a password charging can you charge it and discharge it at the same time yes you can no problem no damage done the weight is 79.6 pounds so it's on a heavy side you will not have much fun carrying around however if uh, you absolutely need to you can still do that right operating temperature is from minus 4 to 104 degrees fahrenheit and the storage temperature is from uh, 32 to 104 degrees to 112 uh, uh, degrees fahrenheit Certifications, we have UL standard, CEC, DOE, AFSA, CCA, Prop uh, 65. And the warranty is for two year, for 48 months. Exact. All right, original, original price is $2,099. And right now, uh, let me check if this is correct. I'm, I don't even know anymore. $1,899, you save $200 right now, right? Okay, because, you know, that prices might change, prices might go up. So this is why we're constantly checking and rechecking all the time. To add it off for the B300 battery module, yes, it is happening. Okay, all right, guys, how does it sound right now? Mm, the sound is still, it sounds still pretty bad. We're, yes, guys, thank you for your patience. We appreciate that. Every time something goes wrong in the live room, it's just the nature of the live stream, guys. It's like this. Which means we are real, wow. Uh, yes. Wow, you're just such a smart person. <laughs> okay, cool. So guys, next, next, what is next? Um, for um, B300 expansion battery, we have some outputs here. I would actually love to show them to you guys. So the outputs are all here in front. So 12 volts and 10 amps car cigarette lighter. USB Type C port, 100 watts. USB Type A port, 18 watts. The button turned on and off and the battery indicator okay it shows you the battery percentage turn on just click this button okay and right now it's on to turn these outputs on and off please click this button okay click this button it's on right now the light is on and right now it's it's still on one press and it's off okay it's off right now yep and right now it's on all right cool so we have again USB of C port at 100 watts, pretty pretty high. We can charge our MacBooks from this port. We have USB of A port, 18 watts, and we also have um, car power socket, 12 volts and 10 amps port right here. Okay, guys, very very nice. So, what else can we say about um, our B300 battery? So again, the battery is originally made for AC 300. But it also can be used with other uh, with other uh, power stations of ours. So the speaking about recharging B three hundred, we can do it different ways, right? Number one is from AC input, and in this case, the maximum input is five hundred watts. Number two is from solar input. In this case, is two hundred watts maximum, and the volt uh, the open circuit voltage is from twelve to sixty volts. Number three is from car input, either twelve or twenty four volts from cigarette. Uh, lighter and um, AC adapter plus solar plus solar you will get the maximum input of 700 watts okay this is about recharging our B300 okay how big it is because it's quite big right so in dimensions it's uh, the length of it is actually 20.5 inches the width is 12.5 inches and the height is 10.5 inches the weight is 79.6 pounds so it's on a heavy side However, if you absolutely have to carry it around, you can do that. Right. Okay, next, we have um, 
what do we have in the box? So in the box, we have number one uh, expansion cable. Okay, this expansion cable is for B300. So if you in the future want to get AC300, you can uh, you already have an expansion cable. We also have solar charging cables in the box. Okay, you don't have to purchase them separately. So we have this like part of solar charging cables in the box of B300 and Another part is already on the solar panel, okay? So you don't have to purchase it separately. We have a user manual, we have a QC uh, card, and we have a four year of warranty, uh, again, two plus two years of warranty for um, B300. Purchase them separately. So we have this like part of, yeah, the sound is still not ideal. We're trying to fix it, guys. Thank you for your patience. Okay, guys, next, next. Of course, we prepared special prices for you for B300 and for uh, AC200P. Right now, let me first disconnect this one, 230 from B300. Okay, I have to unlock it and push this button and just unplug it like this and then, okay. All right, and uh, this one, all right, unplug it. Very nice. So, let's see, guys. Let's see what we have right here. Okay. All right, guys, can you hear us better? I don't think so, right? Unfortunately. We will fix it. Yeah, we're fixing it right now, guys. Thank you for your patience. Okay. All right, all right. So, um... We have a special price for AC200P and for B300. So the price is only $3,298, okay, for the bundle of um, AC200P and for B300. And again, how to purchase, you guys can see the link right now. It shows you the link for B300 separately. So if you want to get one B300, it's totally fine, okay? So you go on the website and the price is only $2,099 as opposed to $2,199. So you press buy it now, and you can see the actual price plus taxes, okay? And uh, you fill in your email, your shipping address. So, and this is how you proceed with, this is how you check out with uh, the um, purchase. Okay, cool. So, and again, for the bundle, the price is $3,298. Okay, and right now we have great news giveaway okay this giveaway is for youtube for youtube uh we give away a k2 power bank k2 power bank is a powerful very powerful device it can charge your laptops and macbook and and, um, and phones at the same time for a long time it's big power bank okay we do it in collab with another company so um this is our product you can say um, and we don't sell it normally, but we give it away. Okay, so K2 Power Bank. All right, so who's our winner? And this time we do this round for YouTube, so let's see how winner is. Okay, guys, you ready? Please type, give, uh, please type K2, K2, K2 on YouTube. This is how you get, this is how you get the uh, giveaway. Okay, let's see, K2, K2, so K2 is on, on YouTube, very nice. So, so, all right, cool. <laughs> all right, so our winner from YouTube. All right, guys, keep typing. Yeah, we haven't chosen the winner yet. How do we know? How do we know who's the most active right now? Is being decided right now. Okay, all right, let's go, let's go. So, I am ready to announce our winner. Are you guys ready? Let's go. So, our winner from YouTube is... Luke Hallowell. Luke Hallowell. Congratulations. Yay! Give it to Luke, everybody. Whoa. Luke Hallowell. Luke, congratulations. You got it. Luke, please kindly contact Helena at bloody.com. It's H E L E N A at bloody.com. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, everybody. If you haven't got the cage bar back, if you're not Luke, uh, better luck next time, guys. Don't get upset. Okay, we just there are so many people every time, so you know you'll get it next time. All right. So, guys, again, give it up for Luke, everybody. Okay, Helena, uh, please kind of contact Helena at bloody, uh, dot com. 
Okay, it's H E L E N A at bed.com from Luke Hallowell from YouTube. Katie Power Bank is yours. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Remember to give me your address. Yeah, yeah, guys, because the, it's only for, we only can ship the giveaways to the USA. So please give us your address in the USA. Yes, and your phone number. Some, some, sometimes they don't give me the phone number. Oh. You know, because when we are shipping uh, due to the battery like restriction, we need your phone. Yeah, exactly. So we don't ask you to send in the comment section. Now, just uh, you can send it privately to helena at bladdy.com um you can send like the information that is needed uh, i think helena will tell you what is needed right so for a shipment basically like um, basic info for the shipment okay cool guys next next what is next so next is our solar panels we almost forgot about it but we have amazing solar panels and again to anticipate the questions bladdy makes its portable power stations uh, usable with n not only with our all install panels. I'm not naming anybody's names, okay? Some brands do this, and some brands don't. It's totally fine. You can use, uh, you can charge our power stations from your solar panels as long as open water circuit is in the right range, okay? So, for example, here the input you can see 35 to 150 volts, okay? So, make sure it's in the right range. So, um, our first panel. For today is ready PV 200 and again let me just tell you a couple of words about our solar panels in general what can relate to all of our solar panels they are easy to carry around specifically we wanted to make solar panels that are lightweight and easy to carry around our solar panels are lightweight so this one for example is 16.1 uh, pounds to be exact okay it's very easy to fold and unfold okay and let me just show it to you guys. Let me show, as Helena was carrying carry around, shit, miss, it's really lightweight, right? So right here, okay, right now it's uh, folded. So if I want to unfold it, I just open it like this. Okay, opening it up. It says that is it has a nice carrying handle right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me show Nice, it's for me either way. So, okay, guys. So this is how you open it. So of course you would normally put it like on a soil, right, or on the floor. So we have on this back side. Let me show it to you guys. On the back side, we have those nice uh, stands. Yeah, we have these nice stands, right? So with those stands, what is cool about them is that. There is no standing here. <laughs> it's not here. Yeah, the uh, table is, you know, I don't think it's good to okay. put it on a table because, yes. Yeah. yeah, the table is too smooth, the problem is. The table is too smooth. So, <clears throat> oh, okay, cool. Alright. Yeah, guys, so I put it this way. So normally I would just lay it on something, right, because I can't be bothered. But if there's nothing to lay it on, we would put the, we would open those stands. So you can you can control the angle, so you can uh, choose the angle of those stands. Um, and uh, this is how you basically put it. So even with this, we have no nothing to lay it on. We can still use those stands. Okay, and there we go, ready to go. <laughs> Let me check. No, I did. I did. Okay. I did open it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it is, and you can also fix, like, you can set a particular angle. So right now you can see, you can see it, it's not laying, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And um, yeah, we have four panels right here. So. But if we uh, if we fold it back, it's very really easy to carry around, as you guys can imagine. So dimensions unfolded are 23.2 inches by by 89.2 inches, and dimensions folded are 23.2 inches by 24.8 inches. The maximum solar input is 200 watts. Okay, you can guess it from the name: 200, 200 watts maximum input. 
and uh, the price is $499 right now, guys. Okay, cool. So, what do we have now about the V200 solar panel? Let's check it out. Ah, the sound is still the same. Anyway, fixing it right now. Still working on it, guys. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so power is 200 watts. Maximum input. Lamination is ETFE. Cell type is micro silicon. Cell efficiency is up to 23.4%. Voltage at max power VMP is 20.5 volts. Okay, you cannot see the, the uh, panel, the solar panel anymore. Oh, we're still there. Uh, yeah, 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 it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can just sit next to it. Oh, no, no, no. So it's not too weird. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, this is the panel, guys. Okay. All right. So current at max power IMP is 9.7 amps. By the way, all this info is in the user manual. So don't worry about it. Open circuit voltage. The most important thing is 26.1 volts. Short circuit current is 10.3 amps. And operating temperature is from 14 to 149 degrees Fahrenheit. The best temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. All right, guys. Cool. So this is the basic info about uh, PV300, uh, PV200 solar panel. So we prepared a special bundle for you guys. AC200P plus uh, PV200. And not one PV200. Not two PV200. But actually, three PV200. So, what do we want to get? Three PV200 and uh, one A300P. What is what is going to cost us? It's actually going to cost us only two thousand seven hundred ninety-six dollars if we get a bundle. Okay, so you get A300P and three PV300. Oh, sorry, three PV200 solar panels. Okay, only two thousand seven hundred and ninety-six dollars. So let's wait for the link right now to pop up and let's click the link. And this is how we can get uh, AC 200P and PV 200, 300 200s. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, guys, next. What is next? Maybe you'd like put the PV 200 together. Yeah, for the bank, yeah, okay, cool. Yes, cool, sure. It's okay, yeah, yeah, we. Just, all right, cool. So, uh, closing it, yeah, okay, yes. And by the way, guys, really important, wanted to see that? Look how everything is organized, okay? So first of all, you can control the angle right here. So just open it up, okay? Set it like this, or change the angle up to, okay? Maybe like this, maybe go higher, okay? Maybe go even higher, as you want. You can set the right angle, okay, and again, okay, as I said, the table is very smooth, okay, <laughs> just like your jokes, <laughs> okay, just like your jokes, so smooth, okay, all right, so let's open it up, we have the cables here, so this, uh, these cables are all here, they're built in, so to say, you don't have to worry about them because we know you're not engineers. It's totally fine. I'm not an engineer either. So, look, guys, we have technical details right here. Uh, we have model name. We have uh, power. We we have um, other characteristics. This one is in English and in is it German? I guess it's German. Yeah. So. So English. English and, yeah, it's, it's, no, no, no. It's not. It's just uh, this one is probably for Europe. So this one has German too. So as we saw, to many countries, not only to America, but also to Europe, to Latin America. So we would have, depending on your country, we would have probably like English, German, English, Japanese, English, uh, Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty international, by the way. <laughs> so not only America oriented. Okay. Oh, this time call right now, it's only valid in the U.S. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is for the U.S. Yeah, but we sell globally. So yeah, as we said in the beginning of our live stream, guys, don't forget to go to our website, gladiatpower.com. If you're not in the U.S., I mean, if you live in Europe or in Latin America, in Australia, 
don't forget to go uh, or Dominican Republic. Not really sure about Dominican Republic. You can always check that. Okay, I just what I want to do is to go on Bloody Power right now. We click on this flag. United States, we also have Canada, Europe, UK, Australia, Japan, France, Spain, Germany, Italy, and Puerto Rico. This is what we have on the website. Okay, and other countries are waiting for Bloody to come to their countries. We are constantly expanding the area of influence. Okay, so for AC to 100P and for PV to 100, for 3V to 100, we have a special price of $2,796. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I'm just waiting for this link to pop up. So, what I would normally do, I would just, uh, myself, what I would normally do, I would just like click the link here, right? But like right now we have, yeah, or it's in the description box. So I just go uh, down here. It's um, waiting for. Uh, I'm looking for what I'm, what I want. So uh, what here? What is here? Bloody A seven hundred P three hundred. Okay, A seven hundred P and three P two hundreds. Click this link, uh -huh, uh -huh. and it transfers me to this website, which is our official website, bladypower.com. And you can see the price right now. It's no longer three thousand one hundred ninety-six, but it's only two thousand seven hundred ninety-nine. Okay, ninety-nine. Uh huh. So buy it now. I click buy it now. Okay, my internet is kind of slow, guys. Sorry. So um, yeah, I can see the price right here plus taxes. I can see that if I'm a hospital employee, seventy plus medical provider, I can also have it five more percent off. And I just fill in my email, my country, first name, last name, address, apartment, city, uh, state, phone, and uh, zip code. And that's it. And I, I choose the payment method. Maybe it's PayPal. Maybe it's Visa. Maybe it's uh, Google Pay. Whatever it is. Continue shipping. Okay, you have to fill in the info, of course. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. So this is how you purchase our products directly from YouTube, directly from Facebook, wherever you're watching us. You don't have to search for it yourself, okay? All right, cool, guys. Again, you can just uh, click the link in the comment section or go to the description, uh, okay, and find it there. How do we get into the giveaway? Okay, Gary, so this is how we get into the giveaway. It's very easy. All you want to do is to be active in the comments. Okay, when the time comes, and we need to type, for example, in case our next giveaway is, let's say, PS70, uh, right there, not PlayStation, PS70, okay, is the name of our power station. Then you want to type PS70, 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 and just hope that the bloody official chooses you. Okay, that's how you get a giveaway. And don't forget to be our follower, so please subscribe to us on YouTube. Okay, don't forget to, to drop us a like. Okay. Yeah, you're right, Sharp and May. Thank you for helping me to answer this question. Okay. I'll trade my t-shirt for it. <laughs> Why would you trade a t-shirt for that? Uh, for, 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 it's a gift. How can, you, how can you trade a gift? No, please don't do that. <laughs> okay, so let's move to PV350 solar panel. Okay, PV350 is bigger because the solar input is higher. No, wait, it's, it's the other way around. It's, so it's, it's the solar input is higher, so it's bigger, right? So it's right here, guys. I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, I mean, I think we can try to compare them together. It's big. Yes. Maybe you That's can. That's what I can say. Maybe two hundred and compare it. Uh, yeah, sure. Your... So right here. So the maximum input of P two hundred, as the name implies, is two hundred watts, whereas the maximum input of P two hundred fifty is three hundred and fifty watts, as the name implies. So. <laughs> the first floor. <laughs> the first. Yeah. Sure. So. Yeah, guys. So, uh, because you cannot see the whole thing. What are you going to do for? There we go. Yep. So, here it is. 
Okay, guys, kindly take a look at PV300 and PV350. Wow, the looks below is huge, gigantic. Yeah, a team made it. Team made it look hard. <laughs> Let's be at it. But it's yeah, it's a Okay. Save the time. We do, yeah, we do, we do. Okay, all right. Mm. We bought two of EV3. Love the new screen and data on the screen. Is the, is is really going to put the screen on newer models? It's a good question. So EV3, yes, it does have a screen. So basically, every new model is with a screen. Yes, you're right. You just um, reminded me of one important topic, which is updates. So the rule of thumb, if a system has Bluetooth, then you can expect updates, over-the-air updates. So for example, ASRP does not have Bluetooth, so no updates. But uh, for ASRP Max, for AC300, for AC500, we do have updates, over-the-air updates through an app. Okay, the app is free for iOS or Android, and you can have over-the-air updates of firmware from the app. Okay, guys, so PV350, it weighs 30.6 pounds, okay? Dimensions, unfolded, its length is 94.4 inches, its width is 35.6 inches, and dimensions folded, its length is 35.6 inches, its width is 24.5 inches, and its height is 2.5 inches. And we have a warranty for 24 months, okay? So this is the uh, dimensions of PV350 solar panel, all right? And we prepared a crazy combo price combo bundle for you guys. Uh, it includes AC100P, of course, our main character of today's drama. <laughs> and we also want to add some PV350 panels. So what would that be? So we're talking about AC100P and two PV350 panels, okay? And a special price is only $2,997. Okay, let me check, maybe it's 99. I'm not sure. It is 99, right? 99, it's all right. I mean, yeah, guys, anyway, um, how do we look for it? Again, go to the description, find, it's the last one, and click the link. It transfers you to the website and you can see actually I can see right now okay I have to choose a p and p 350 with pleasure of course so okay so let me start from the beginning I'm here right now watching this live stream and I go up go, go down to the description click this link I'm here, and I'm like, oh, wait a second, aren't you talking about four panels? We have a extension battery, why? Well, here you choose ASNRP, NP350, click, click here. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So, yeah, so, ASNRP, correct, and uh, P350, correct. So, add to card, add to card. Let me check my card right now. It has something in it. Okay. Again, my internet is kind of slow. So, <clears throat> but this is how you get it, guys. It's still loading, but yeah. Please scroll down here. Oh, yeah. So let me, uh, I have too many products right now. So yeah, I have um, 250 solar panels and uh, AC200, AC100P plus, plus 3P200. It's right here. But right now we're talking about two PV350s and about a certain P, okay? So yeah, guys, this is how you get it with a special price of uh, $2,999, okay, that's it. <coughs> and again, solar panels are awesome because first of all, well, again, if you're outdoors, um, there, is no, there is no way to recharge. Of course, you could recharge from your car cigarette lighter. However, one, it's slow, okay? It's gonna take you a nervous amount of time from 10 to 20 hours to recharge it. It depends on the voltage, 
um, copper socket usually 12 volts, right? So if it's 12 volts, it will take it 20 hours. If in case your port is 24 volts, which is last commonly seen, it's going to take you 10 hours. However, the engine has to be running, so you don't want to run out of oil power, depending on what what kind of car you have when you are when you are off grid, right? So what you want to do is to recharge with solar panels. And again, you can use our solar panels. You can use any other solar panels. Our solar panels are just the the cool thing is that. Well, first of all, they are compatible with our products, right? They are, they are also easy to carry around. Okay, you can fold them and unfold them. They have the stands. You can, I mean, there is nothing to lay them on. You can just, you know, place them on the ground. So pretty good solar panels. And right now you can buy uh, bundles with a special price. For example, A star P and PV350, two units of PV350 and A star P for only $2,999. Okay, guys, we have one round of giveaway right now. Is it K2 Power Bank? Yes. Again, okay, it's a K2 Power Bank on Facebook right now. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, right now, this round is for Facebook. Blue so, Addy Global. Blue Addy Global, yes. Our Facebook uh, channel is, um, uh, our Facebook group is Blue Addy Global. <clears throat> Facebook page is Blue Addy Global. Okay, all right, so who is our winner? Let's see who our winner is. A winner from Facebook. Facebook, guys from Facebook, please type K2, K2 in the comments. Type K2, 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 K2. Uh, guys, for all uh, watching us on Facebook, our Bloody Global, our Facebook uh, page is Bloody Global, Bloody Global. Okay, guys, please go there and type K2, K2, K2 if you want to get a, um, um, a K2 power bank for free okay for free okay let's see who is the winner k2 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 we are almost ready to announce the winners guys it's so exciting and by the way we only have 12 minutes before the end of our live stream so guys if you want to purchase anything please purchase it now with the special prices that you will see and using special promo code okay so um, <clears throat> our winner from facebook uh we are still choosing the winner if you guys ready, let me know. Okay. So our winner of K2 Power Bank from Facebook is David Fredrich. David Fredrich. Okay. Congratulations, David. David, you got it. Okay, David. Oh, it's D. David Fredrich, right? Mm -hmm. D. David Fredrich. D. David Fredrich, please kindly contact. Helena at bladdy.com. Okay, it's H E L E N A at bladdy.com within 48 hours. Thank you, David Frederick. D. David Frederick. Give it up for D. David Frederick, everybody. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, please call the contact Helena at bladdy.com for the shipment. Thank you. Okay, let's keep going, guys. So. <clears throat> Conversation style winners. Congratulations to those guys who already purchased something because right now we have the best prices, okay, during the live stream and we finish in 10 minutes. So, guys, right now, take your time. We still have to manage enough time, don't panic, and purchase whatever you want. Okay, so speaking about 350, P350, the maximum input is 350 watts, as you can say from the name. Uh, elimination is ETFE, cell efficiency is up 23.4%, maximum power voltage is 37.5 volts, current at max power is 9.2 amps, open circuit voltage is 46.5 uh, volts, short circuit current ISC is 10.8 amps, operating temperature is from 14 to 149 degrees Fahrenheit, and dash working temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. We have Four uh, panels right here. You can fold them and unfold them. As you guys can see, the bigger one is PV350. The small one is PV200. The input of PV350 is maximum 350 watts. The maximum input of PV200 is 200 watts. They are pretty much the same. Okay, the input is different. Okay, so this is the, the main thing. <clears throat> okay, nice. So, again, guys, the battles are the following. Uh, you can get ACRP right here, the upper one, okay, and um, 
three units of BB350 for only $2,999. And if you want to get the smaller solar panel, this one on the floor, PV200, okay, then you can get a 700 p and three units of PV200, and the price is going to be only $2,799 for the bundle. Okay, guys, as we only have 10 minutes left before the end of our live stream, let's just kind of um, remind ourselves what we have been talking about today. So, first of all, kicking things off with a 700 p okay, and we were surprised that the price right now is so low, it's literally only $1,399 as opposed to $1,599. You can save $200 for a 700 p Okay, so about a 700 p all we have to know is that the capacity is 2,000 watt hour, the one inch, the, the maximum um, load as is AC, uh, of AC is 2,000 watts, well, in total it's 2,000 watts. Um, the battery inside is lithium iron phosphate battery as all of our batteries that we talk about today, okay, our batteries are, are either lithium iron or lithium iron phosphate. So for A so B, for B230, for B300, it's all lithium iron phosphate. Okay, we have 17 outputs here on A C so P, 17 outputs, DC outputs, AC outputs, and wire sharing pass on the top that actually belong to DC output family. Um, there are seven ways to recharge our uh, this our, our a start p like ac solar car generator lead battery and dual ac charging and ac plus solar charging the maximum solar input for a start p hey can we have a camera on a start p please yeah. yeah so maximum solar input for a start p is 700 watts and the maximum fast dual charging is 1200 watts okay all right so <clears throat> By the way, guys, the dimensions of a standard P is 16.5 inches in length, 11 inches in width, and 15.2 inches in height, and weights on 60.6 pounds. Okay, next one was our, again, we have a nice screen here. It's expandable with B230 and B300. So, next one is B230 expansion battery. It's right here. The capacity is 2048 watt hour, pretty high. It's 52 point, uh, 51.2 volts, it's 40 amp hour. The type is lithium iron phosphate battery. Okay, life cycles uh, span is 3500 plus life cycles. The management system and the controller is all there. It will be hard for you to break it because we have a battery management system built in. Okay, and again, the price for uh, B230 is only $1,299. And how do we purchase it? We go to the description here on YouTube or on Facebook. We click the link there and it transfers us to the website, bladdedpower.com, our official website. And we see the price $1,299. And if you purchase two B230 batteries, you will get a 199DO50S. DC charging has her for free. This is what it says on the website. Okay, nice guys. So next one is our combo of a 700 p and B230. Okay, if you purchase them separately, the price for you is only $2,699. Again, let's go to the description here on YouTube. Let's find a 700 p and B230. Let's click on the link and let's enjoy our special price. $2,698, technically even lower. Okay, and proceed with your purchase. Nice. The next was B300 expansion battery. Again, the uh, reason why I don't connect it to B200P is because it's just the same way as we connected B230, okay, with these two cables that we used. We right now only have five minutes, so not enough time to connect. So yeah, you connect it the same way with these two cables that we connected B230 to a standard P the same way. Okay, so speaking about B300, um, again, it's um, it has split phase bonding, 240 volts split phase bonding. So it is expandable with AC300, with uh, A200 Max, and with A200 P. And uh, it the price for it right now is only 1,899, 
as opposed to $2,099. You can save $200 with the code LIVEB300. LIVEB300. Okay. Next, guys, we had our solar panels. Okay. Oh, first of all, we had a bundle for A solar P right here and B300. Okay. So the price for the bundle is only $3,298. $3,298. Okay, cool. And the price for the bundle of solar panels and a SRP, let's check it out. So, number one option that we had was our a SRP and PV200 solar panels. Okay, the smaller one on the floor with a maximum input of 200 watts. So, you could get a SRP and three units of PV200. And in this case, guys, yeah, the price is only $2,799. That's right, the smaller solar panel on the floor, the smaller one is AC, uh, is PV, photovoltaic, PV200, okay? So you can get three units of PV200 and AC and together, and the price is only $2,799, guys. Very, very good price. Okay, and the bigger solar panel is uh, PV350 with the maximum input of 350 watts. And again, we prepared a special price for you guys. So if you get two units of P350 plus a P, the price for you is only $2,999. A very, very favorable price. Okay, guys, we only have two minutes before the end of our live stream right now. I congratulate everybody who has purchased our bundles or single products today during the live stream because you guys saved a lot of money you got it at a very very good price and will serve you for a long time i'm talking 10 plus years okay our next live stream is going to be on october 11th 7 p.m pacific daylight time again from 7 p.m to 9 p.m pacific daylight time please don't miss our giveaways and our live stream and our discount we'll talk about ep500 and ep500 pro and much many many more amazing deals good night sharp i made good night everybody good thank you for your for your greetings for your good night message okay guys have a good night everybody guys for in other time zones have a good day have a good afternoon again we'll see you on october 11th from 7 p.m to 9 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Congratulations to all the winners. Don't forget to contact Helena at Blady.com if you're a winner. It's for the shipment. Okay, it's H-E-L-E-N-A at Blady.com for the shipment of the, the winners. And everybody else, guys, don't forget to follow us on um, our platforms on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram, yes, on Instagram, and on TikTok. And don't forget to visit our website, bladdypower.com. And of course, guys, don't forget to give us a like. And it was a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, guys, to be with you here. So thank you for accompanying us. Learning more about ASMRP and uh, B230, B300, and some solar panels. And I'll see you next time on October 11th, 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, guys. Very, very nice seeing you today. And I will be glad, I will be glad to see you next time. Have a good night. Have a good night. Take care. Okay. Stay healthy. Stay happy.